Okay, many students have typed the result. Very good. I want especially the addresses. ID. ID I want. 234, 234, 343, 343. Addresses they are typing same. Vandana has typed different. And Sahana has typed different. Addresses they say will change. So let us check whether the addresses will remain same or change. Majority are telling, okay, same, some, okay, both are there. Students are telling it is same. Some students are telling it is a different address. So check your answer. Anyway, you have thought something. You are thinking is right or wrong, you can just check it. See the result. Number address, I got something. Sorted address, I got something. So just take a few seconds, go through, even you can execute whenever you are free also, take a, some other program, some other array, something, just try it, no problem. After sorting, I got different. So let us go to the next. Now I have taken L1 equal to 6931, print L1 equal to L1, L2 equal to A something I had written, I have sorted. Remember, sorting, when I am using a number, it is very easy. Sorting is not a problem. 1, 3, 6, 9, it will become. When I use capital, lowercase letter also. Why the capital is coming first? Can you type the answer? Why the capital is coming first? A, rather than lowercase a. If I mix both capital and lowercase, I think capital may come first. Is there any... Uh, ASCII number, Pooja, very good. Amit, Sanju, Aishwarya, very good. It is due to the value of ASCII value. Lakshmi and Mahima, very good. See, because of that, can you type A ASCII value anywhere of you? Maybe lower case or upper case A, in front of that type of ASCII value. 63 for capital A or small A, Sri Lakshmi. 63, okay, so all are typing 63, capital A, I think, 65, Nilambika, okay, uh, capital A they are writing, and uh, what about uh, lowercase a, anybody, okay, I will show you the answers also, that is the reason why you will get, see this, even you can simply google it, you will get a table, it takes a hardly a, 60 a equal to 97 somebody has typed just check it in this it may not be visible completely just go through this this table is available i think a i took 97 here decimal and capital a if you take 65 it is okay we'll not go in depth with this just one should know now let us go to the list uh, list we have discussed now we have to discuss the tuples methods append and uh, pop make it very easy to use a list to implement this data structure known as stack. I think stack, uh, you might have studied in your uh, microcontroller, you are in fifth sum means for some microcontroller was there, you have studied the stack. What is the stack? Is it last in first out, first in last out or last in last out, first in first out? Even if you type the answer, is it last in first out, first in first out, first in last out, Four combinations. What is the stack? LIFO. Very good. Balakrishna. First in, last out. Okay. Last in, first out. Suhasini. Very good. Uh, Disha. First in, last out. Last in, first out. Very good. So, the same thing is uh, shown in this program. Stack. I'm, you can take any variable name. So, simply I am using this. Uh, uh, assigning empty. And I am appending. Later I am popping. So when I pop it, first 4 will be taken. Second time when you pop, 3 will be taken. And when you print it again, remaining will be printed. Observe this output carefully. Take a few seconds. Observe the output carefully. First print, when I printed stack, 1, 2, 3, 4 are printed. When I pop up, first, last, whatever I have done, that will come first, fourth. Again I am popping, 3 will come. Next, when I am printing, remaining will be printed. The end of the list is the top of the stack. 
from which items may be added or removed. So let us go to the next. So again a same instead of stack I will use st whether it will work or not just I checked. Stack is not a keyword you can take kalapa malapa basapa no problem it will append and when you pop it last will come first 44 then 33. So let us go to the next. Now substring from a given string. I assigned S1 equal to January, February, March, April, May, June. I have printed. Then P1 equal to S1 dot split. When I split it, January, February, March, individual these words will be assigned to the P1. And simply I am printing a P1. Next S2 equal to I am assigning something. And again, I am printing S2 uh, as it is. I am splitting. This splitting is in between and. Whatever is there previous and after and that will be broken and it will be assigned. Observe the output carefully. Wherever and is there. For example, JM Brown. So this is broken and and is removed. Again, in between and I have two names. Again, those two names are assigned. Just go through and try to understand. And to understand completely in depth, you are supposed to execute these things. And uh, it is very difficult to execute in the classes. So whenever you are getting time in your rooms, take this code and try to execute. So let us go to the next. Actually, we would have finished the first chapter today. Our teaching is a little bit slow. We are going a little bit slow. Hence, we are taking more time. Only 8 hours is allocated for the first chapter. So it is the 8th class already. Let us go to the next. Now the tuple may be thought of as an immutable list. Please understand. Tuples are constructed by placing the items inside the parenthesis. There we used to have a square bracket. Now we use a parenthesis. Tuples can be indexed and sliced in the same way as list but being immutable. Read this. Being a immutable. They cannot be appended to extend it or have elements removed from them. Read it twice. Understand what is the difference between the tuple and previously what we have discussed. Now list and tuple. Some difference is there. Mutable, immutable. Try to understand that. Try to remember that. So tuple is immutable. That one word you have to keep in your mind. So let us go to the next. Write the output. Type your output in the chat box. Especially I want third and fourth print. Don't uh, write the output of first and second. I want third and fourth print result. You are supposed to type in the chat box. Maybe right or wrong. You should type it. So that you will get a attendance. Very good. Dhanashri. She typed both. Okay. P3 Lakshmi has typed. Nilambika. And uh, BB, Nayana, Aishwarya, Kriti. If pronunciation is not correct, after the class, you please tell me. Parvati Devi, Abhijit, Disha, Mohan. Okay. Very good. All of you, P4 error. Akanksha Kulkarni. Error. Akash told error. Sahana is telling error. Now everybody started writing error. Suhas. Amit. Okay. Sit, uh, let me show you the answer. See, just now I told a previous slide. Tuple object does not support item assignment. You cannot do. 
for the tuple. So this just now I had told. You can't do that. Whenever you use a square bracket, okay, you can do changes. When you use this parenthesis, it's the end of it. You cannot do anything because it's uh, immutable. So let us go to the next. You can copy down, I'll give you 10 seconds, understand this. The same error message I had typed with a more font size for your reference. List can list and tuple. Difference you try to understand. First answer what you are told is correct. First print, second print, third print is correct. Fourth print, before that only you will get an error. Let us go to the next. Although a tuple itself is immutable, understand this line, huh? carefully, hey, be here only. It may contain a reference to the mutable object such as a list. Tuple may have a list. I want you people to think and write uh, answers. Only addresses I want. First print everybody will type. Second also you can type 1, 2, 3. No problem. Uh, you can type for this also. Address of the first T. It is also same. And uh, next address of T of 0. T of 1, 2. And I am changing T of 1, 2 equal to C. Then I am printing. So just try to write the output at least uh, uh, print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 print are they first type the number followed by answer at least few print you can write the answer in the chat box few you can write in the your notebook i'll give the two minutes i'm sure at least few students will type at least few answers Please observe the addresses carefully. When I edit it, whether address of the second T will change or not, whether the address of T of 1, 2 will change or not, observe carefully. And whenever you are free, you can execute and you can check it. How you can say mutable, immutable. Use your common sense and remember like this code you have to execute and you have to check it. I will wait for another few seconds and then we will go to the next slide. You can execute, no problem. So let us go to the next, time is very less. Tuple, an empty tuple is created with an empty parenthesis. Simply you can say t0 equal to like this, empty tuple is created. To create a tuple containing only one item, what you have to write? t equal to something, whatever item you want, but followed by one comma you have to write. Only one extra word you have to remember. What is that? After assigning one item, you have to put a comma and you have to leave it. This is the one point which you have to remember. So let us go to the next. Sometime the parenthesis around the tuple may not be needed at all. For example, I am writing t equal to 1, 2, 3. So when I print it, automatically I will get 1, 2, 3 as a tuple. Assigning multiple variables is also possible. a equal to b, comma, b comma c equal to. When I print it, b will become 98. So it is possible, you have to remember. So now, it is very simple. I even no need to write the output also. Tuple 1 equal to, I am writing physics, chemistry 1997-2000. Tuple 2 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tuple 3 equal to A, B, C, D. Tuple 4 equal to tuple 1 plus tuple 2. Adding means it is a concatenation. See the output and understand. Nothing is there in this. It is very easy. Simply, whatever you are writing physics, chemistry 1997-2000, it will come as it is. Plus, tuple 2 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be assigned to the tuple 4. That is all. Similarly, 5. Tuple 5, T5, what have I taken? Take a, another 20 seconds, just see it, understand it. And slash in I used so that every output will go to the next line. Let us go to the next slide. Observe this, I will give one minute. Line of 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3 is a 3. 1, 2, 3, plus 4, 5, 6. I'll get like this. 
basic tuple operations just understand when i say hi star 4 hi 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 it will come four times if i take five five times just understand like that okay let us go to the next i'll take a one minute let me copy paste your chart so that i can take attendance whenever i want it will be stored let us go to the next just go through this i don't want to explain it is a collected information a equal to something i am assigning and uh, printing when i say count of 333 how many times it has come it is printing like that you have to understand append when i print it so this 333 is appended like that you have to understand when i say remove it will be removed but if i have more than one only one is removed huh? not all only one is removed I have three thirty three two one is removed like that. You have to understand. So let us go to the next. Iterable objects, strings, list, and tuples are all examples of a data structure that are iterable objects. For example, here list of hello. When I say list of hello, whatever you type, SDM, CT, something you type, individual characters will be taken. Or if you are typing like this, uh, along with the numbers, it will be assigned like this. Just read it once, and these things we will see it in the with example in the next slides. Iterable objects, and these things you can execute. List, you can write Dharwad, Hubli. You can write just check it <clears throat> so many such functions are available use it and check it let us go to the next now take this simple example try to write the output a equal to i am assigning b equal to a i am assigning print a b print b is a whether both are same or not if it is both are same it will become a true answer otherwise answer will be false c equal to list of a I am assigning whatever is there in the A, those will be assigned to the C. Then I am checking whether address of A, B, C will remain same or not. We can write three addresses, whether same or not. A or B may be same, A or C may be same, B or C may be same. I want three addresses from you in the chat box. Sindhu has typed one, two, three, one, two, three. Very good. Maybe right or wrong. I want you people all will be the same. Okay, Akanksha one two three one two three. Very good. I think network problem is there. If it disconnect, then I will try to reconnect. Same. Mahima is okay. I think there is a network problem. I'll try to reconnect again. It's not showing anything to me. At your side, it may be.
observe the output carefully a b addresses are same c address is not same some of the things are very tricky to understand python so until unless you practice you cannot become a master so therefore i want you people to think even though it is wrong na at least you will come to know what you thought is was wrong so now remember this next time so when i say c equal to list address is not same when i am assigning directly b equal to a address is remaining same let us go to the next any and all the built in function any and all we use uh, whether any item in the iterable objects are equivalent to true or not see for example in this any of a a equal to i am writing 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 2 comma 3 any of a the answer is true some but not all of a's item are equivalent to true other than zero everything is true so therefore other than zero something is there therefore it is a true all of a so this is false so sometime in our programming we may use any and all just to check true or false in a complete given list so now we'll go to the loops you have studied the loops in your uh, c language also a for loop all of you know a for loop is used for iterating uh, over a sequence that is either list tuple dictionary set or string huh? we are using the same way with a for loop we can execute a set of statements one for each item in a list maybe a tuple maybe a set etc one simplest example is shown for you people fruits equal to apple banana cherry we can write names equal to also for x in fruits i am not declaring x is what anything simply i am using directly for x in fruits print of x when i do it all these apple banana these will be printed on the screen observe this or even you can copy down this much sir should i use x only no you can use anything y z or you can write your name only but you have to type the same thing here also that's the one point which you have to remember so go through exit the loop when x is banana i am printing if x equal to equal to banana break exit the loop when x is banana but this time break comes before the print only this is after the print not this is before the print only i am coming out go through and try to understand this loop and how to use break in the programming let us go to the next do not print banana for x in fruits if x equal to equal to banana continue so it will not print and it will continue so let me take another example see fruit list equal to have written something apple melon banana orange for fruit you can take any variable here in this name you have to take as it is for letters in fruit print letters and followed by one dot so therefore these things will be printed apple whatever i have given banana orange etc will be printed just i'll pause for a few seconds go through and try to understand until unless you execute you cannot become master you have to execute all these programs and all programs are there in the textbook the same programs online simulator i already have executed few programs same way how to execute these programs so that you can understand you can remember it so let us go to the next the range type a range object can be constructed with up to three arguments the notation described in the range constructor here means that if the initial value a0 is not given it is taken to be zero by default stride is also optional and if it is not given it will be taken as a one for example when i say a equal to range of 5 by default it will start from zero and the option i have not given anything therefore it will take plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 for example b equal to range 1 to 6 means zero it will not take 
For example, if I take C equal to range 0, 6, 2, 0 means it will starting, ending is 6, every second one I have to consider. Therefore, 0, 2, 4, excluding the last sixth one. Observe these four carefully, understand. This time I have taken minus 2. 10 to 0, no 0 will not come into picture. When I say 1 to 6, 6 will not come into picture. Observe carefully and try to understand. Let us go to the, I will take a few seconds, I will copy down whatever you have typed so far, at least from, ok let me go to the next. Write the output, output I have already shown, instead of asking you it will take time for me. For x in the range 2 to 2 comma 6, whatever I told the same thing is printed here, observe it carefully. 5, x in the range 2, 33. It has started from 2 and every third one, 2 after that 5, after that 8, up to what? 30, 29th you will get 30 will come into picture. Last I have printed finally finished. It has come. Observe it carefully and try to understand. So you can write, instead of 3 you can write 4, 5, just check it how it prints in your PC later. So let us go to the another, try to observe the output carefully, A equal to range of 5, B equal to range of 1 comma 6, the output I am showing you, observe it carefully. For X in A, print of X, A is what, range of 5. So the same thing what you have discussed, a sample output I am showing you, how it will come. Actually you are supposed to execute and understand. Whatever I theoretically I told, I am showing you the output, 10, 0, minus 2 I told. So what you got, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, this is the output after execution. So let us go to the next slide, it is just output I am showing what I discussed. In Python 3, the object created by range is not a list. See, I want you people to, program is correct or not, write the output. It is a Fibonacci number. Numbers are given to you. First see whether the program is right or wrong. If it is correct, how many it will print? Beginning. Is the program correct? For loop I am taking. In the range 2 I have started, reason is 1 and 1 I have already assigned. Hence I am taking from 2 n plus 1 up to I am taking so that it will take up to n because last it will not include that is the reason n plus 1 I am taking and fib, no c, fib dot append I am attending to this appending to this only list here. fib i minus 1 plus fib of i minus 2 means 1 plus 1 it will become 2 next time the concept I am explaining whether it will it execute or not any problem is there let me know if it is correct you say correct if error is there, type error. Anyone you should say, don't sit idle. Correct is correct. You can say okay, otherwise error. If error is there, where? Nobody is typing. I will show you the correct Mahima. Thank you. She is typing error n plus 1. Darshini is telling okay error n plus 1 it will have value of 6 sir. Okay. I, I appreciate your answers Aishwarya. When I take 6 na, always whenever I say range this last number will not come into picture. I think I will go back to the previous for your reference. So when I say here any, any one you take. When I say 6, 6 will not come into picture up to 5 it will take. That is the reason I took n plus 1 so that it should consider n. That is the reason I took n plus 1 and that is not a wrong. Anybody else? Any other reasons you can tell? Thank you Aishwarya. Anybody? Akhanksha told something error. Mm. 
can you explain what is the error akanksha if possible i'll show you the answer when i executed this i got a error read it carefully program is actually correct concept is correct what is the error try to understand see where is the error it is showing line number 4 what is the line number 4 expected and intended block so you should take a one tab here those who are executing in the online simulator or in your pc remember this you are going to do a lot of mistake space is required ganesh is telling please remember you have to make like this then only it will execute one space one tab don't give a backspace or don't use a, a space bar take a one tab so you'll get an answer this is one mistake which most of the time we all of us do okay let us go to the next calculating the fibonacci series without storing it i executed it so i not stored anyway simply i have taken a variable ab you might have done in your c language also without storing i have done it and this is a program i have executed and i got results try to observe you have another 10 seconds So let us go to the next. Take a homework, enumerate and zip. Enumerate and zip. You take it as a homework. Try to go through. Uh, how, the way we use a uh, range and all. Enumerated also you can use. Instead of uh, integer and all. So now we will go to the control flow. Control flow you have studied in your C language also. If else. We have a if else in Python also. And let us see what are the logical conditions we use. Equals, not equals, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. You have 20 seconds you can go through. Equals, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. Let us go to the next. Now, when I execute this, a equal to 33, b equal to 200. If a, b is greater than a, print b is greater than a. Now, b is 200, 200 is greater than 33. Hence, I got a result b is greater than a. Take a 10 seconds and see it. Everybody can understand this. Because b is greater than a, hence b is greater than a is printed. If I change the number less than 33, b equal to, then b is smaller than a should come. Let us go to the next, the same program. Now I assigned a equal to 300, b equal to 200. If b is greater than a, print b is greater than, same program only a b I have changed, therefore b is now smaller than a. Because b is 200, a is 300. Take a 5 seconds, see it. Let us go to the next. Write the output. If the program is correct. If the program is not correct, is tell the line number and what is wrong. If it is everything is correct, type the answer. Okay, somebody is typing any answer. Indentation of if Mahima is typing. Suhas is typing line number 2 error error. Okay. And uh, Sri Lakshmi is typing. Okay, line number you tell Sri Lakshmi. Whenever you are telling anything, line number you can say. And two line. Okay, very good, Lakshmi. Sindhu, correct. She is typing line number two. Line number two. Okay. Now let us con uh, consider Akanksha is typing. Line number two is wrong. Because after for loop, I had to take a one tab. Then only that if will be considered otherwise no 
Let me show you the next. Let us consider I have made uh, that particular changes and I have retyped the program one space I have given. Okay. Now the program looks like th there is an error when I try to execute. All of you are told why error is there. The same thing I am showing you people. Now let me show you the next. I have corrected it. Now you can write the output. Or still error is there. Let me know the line number. Either type the answer, line number 4, error. Okay, many students are telling line number 4 is in error. Okay. Line number 3 is correct now. Huh? Line number 3 is in error, Gnanashri is telling. Suhas is telling line number 3 also error. Line number 4 is error, many are telling. I appreciate. Even line number 3 is in error. Okay, so again I need a one tab there also. Line number six, Lakshmi Priya is telling advance. Okay, <laughs> let me show you the next again. I have changed line number three. I have typed. Now is the program correct? I think line number four. Most of the students they are told it is not correct. Again, line number four. I am making a changes. I am typing again. Error is there. I do agree. Many students have told line number four. Line, uh, instead of line number 3, they told line number 4 only. I made changes in line number 4 also. Will it execute now? Line number 5 is in error. Very good. Okay, Suhas is telling line number 5 is in error. Okay, I have made changes in line number 5. Okay, line number 5 is in error. I have made changes in line number 5. And I execute it. And some students were telling line number 6 is in error. Is it error, line number 6? Or should I give a tab? If I give the tab, will it execute or not? Next question. If I give the tab here, will it execute or not? If uh, it executes, will you get the same answer or not? Kirti Mathad, no. It executes, Akanksha. It won't execute, Sindhu. Okay. No, line number 6 is correct. Okay. Erfalin Niker, I do agree. It will execute. Amit is telling. But re result will remain same. You write two words. Execute, but different. Okay, Sahana has typed very nicely. Executes, but different answer. I appreciate Sahana. Very good. Anybody else? Whether it will execute or not? If it executes, answer will be same or not. Two words I want from you people. Just type it so that I will collect all your answers and I will uh, paste in my MS Word so that I can refer how many of you are present in my class. Hope you people are observing what all I am doing it. Everything is copied in the MS Word with a five column. At what time you have interacted it is stored in the MS Word file. Do it fast. Okay, I will go down and uh, execute but different answers okay execute different answers Baslinga pa very good and uh, Naina Balakrishna Suresh Shait Suresh Shait after a long time you type the answer hmm? Naina Akshay okay very good I will show you the answer also when I change this else answer is not same you observe here after 3 you got 6 7 8 observe here after 3 you got 4 5 also. Answer will not remain same. Why? Because when I say this tab, observe this line carefully. For this if it will take else or if you take back side, for this if it will take else. This is very important. You have to understand this and you have to remember. So, read this. It is not necessary to enclose a test expression such as x is less than or equal to 3 in the parenthesis. Without parenthesis you can type it. But you have to write a colon. You have to write a colon. And one more line. Remember there is no switch. K is finally construction in the python. Equal and control flow can be achieved with the if, else, if, and if. Or with dictionaries. We don't have a 
किस स्विच कंस्ट्रक्शन इन पाइथॉन सो लेट एस गो टू द नेक्स्ट ओके दिस वन सैंपल प्रोग्राम यू कैन जस्ट रिटर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आउट लीप इयर ऑल ऑफ यू नो एंड आई असाइन इयर इक्वल टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड If not, year percent is four hundred. Then I will assign it as a true. Otherwise, false. If a percent is four is there, else if I will assign true. Otherwise, I'll assign the false. Based on this, what I am giving, it will be displayed whether it is a leap year or not. And print statement format we have discussed many types. This is one way to write the print statement. Just I take a twenty twenty also, and I have checked. Yeah, just you go through this program, and after this we will try to conclude today's class. A equal to fifty two is assigned. B equal to forty three. If A is greater than B, print A is greater than B. What it is printed, you just check it. A is fifty two, B is forty three. Hence it is printed A is greater than B. Like that, you just go through this program. so after that we'll uh, think we can uh, conclude today's class any other doubts any other discussion if you have you can ask only a few minutes so all of you know while loop in c language the same way we can use here also you try to remember this break continue and pass break command inside a loop immediately ends that loop to the next statement you might have studied already try to understand continue it immediately forces the next iteration of the loop without completing the statement block for a current iteration next iteration it will work when we say pass the pass command does nothing like a nop operation it does nothing so these things we'll use in the code and we'll check it let us go to the next observe this those who are having a doubt when i say continue what will happen when i say break what will happen a very nice image i got from the internet just i am sharing with you people so that uh, all of you can understand what is the meaning of break what is the meaning of continue what will happen when i say break in the while in section or in the loop if i say continue in the while loop what will happen Just observe and understand. So let us go to the next. See the output. I equal to one while I is less than six. Print of I. If I equal to equal to three, break. Output after three it is breaking like that. Just observe these three programs. Second, i equal to zero. Why i is less than six? I plus one. I plus equal to one. If i equal to equal to three, continue. So five six are printed here. Five six is not printed. This is a break. This is a continue. This is a difference. You should understand. So let us go to the next. I think while loop the same one more program is there. so these uh, i think uh, we'll discuss file operation in the next class okay i'll show a file operation in the next class we'll uh, now i'll stop sharing the screen